cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in lld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now now let's move on next to chain of responsibility as the word itself says responsibility it's a chain you are passing something to your next person for example a relay race you must be remembering when you used to run in a relay race so you are passing a ballot uh, maybe that's what it is called i'm not sure but yeah you're passing that rod thing uh, to the next person so that is actually ultimately and again you're passing it until the last person will finish the race again whoever finishes the race that's up to you but uh, you will keep on passing until someone has finished the race which means ultimately a request is being passed as a simple long chain and again it will be processed once somewhere somehow somewhere it will be processed for example you know a simple leave request approval basically an empl- an employee let's say aryan submits a leave request he wants to take a leave now the number of leave days will determine that where it will go who will actually handle that request for example if it's between 1 to 3 days maybe my supervisor can handle it if not then it will go above to the manager if not then above to director if not then <laughs> rejected that's the ultimate thing now to implement the same thing how will you implement it you know a simple simple program would look like that okay if the leave request you know you, you can give a leave request if it's less than 3 simply supervisor approved it else if another person manager else if director else reject did you see a very big issue which we have been seeing so far firstly is if else this is a very big red flag because right now we just have one line it doesn't necessarily mean that supervisor will have one line he will have multiple tasks which he, which he has to maybe put up he has to submit and then he can approve your leave request so this thing can be very bloated you know in general and obviously this is not scalable this is not maintainable this is a very bad code like very 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 bad code so what if i ask you you know let's let's have some more features let's you know add some more conditions to it you will end up having something like this earlier <laughs> earlier only it was so bad now again it became more bad and again it can literally became become more 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 worse than what you could have so these nested if else is even if else is in general are very big red flags so that's one thing which you can easily see and obviously if you add more if approvers if you add more you know uh, flow you do you you have that change everything will be very messy in that sense and obviously scalability which means adding more people will be a very big issue now comes um, our chain of responsibility design pattern it simply says that each handler checks if it can process the request if not then pass it to the next person to of the chain which means i have to kind of build up a chain how will i build up a chain obviously i will have to make a chain of what chain of approvers so i will make approvers okay approvers is called for in abstract class now if you are doubtful are in why not interface why abstract class please make sure that you should have watched oops crash course if not then please make watch it then come back now coming on back we realize okay every approver will be there they can be like my supervisor will be approver my manager and then director and so on and so forth okay they will have primarily one job which is process the leave request again everyone will have their own set of implementation of process the leave request because there is a possibility that director has more such processes like basically when he process the leave request he has a different e tasks you know a different process altogether and then he will ap- approve your request maybe your manager will have some different task and then he approves your project uh, leave and then your supervisor let's say only two task and then he approves your leave so process leave request will be different between you know your uh, all the approvers so it's abstract it needs to be implemented but there's one thing they need to be a chain the chain says that if the supervisor cannot process it it should go to the next person next approver which is your manager so i will say that every approver will have someone next that please go and set the next approver why this will this will be helpful this will be helpful because if you are not able to approve the approver not able to approve then he will set as the next approver 
and again as an employee as an employee you don't need to know so again if i'm not sure that how familiar you are if you would have you know have an approval scheme in your company then you will see that there's a a chain build of approvals like this and let's say if your manager is on leave or pto or something then it goes to your skip manager so you don't need to know about whom to push the request no there will be a pipeline which will automatically send that to your skip level manager or maybe you know next approver so that is the reason i need to have a set next approver that will help me make sure that okay whatever next approver i set this will be my next approver which will be set for the current approver so for a supervisor as a current approver i can simply set my next approver now with that again although i am hoping that with that when you saw this you must have have a very quick thought are in recently we studied about state design pattern isn't it same about you know you 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 you, you told us about different states you know a uh, vending machine can have different states we saw about traffic light uh, red to green to yellow and then back to red so in that also we were moving our request from one process to like you know one state to another here also kind of we are doing the same thing are these both same i'll say not exactly but very close because a state pattern is something different your actual chain of responsibility is something different state says when something is done then you go on to the next state your chain of responsibility says when something is not done then go to the next state which means that this is linear it will simply go and end at one point in time but this thing is cyclic you just simply keep on going keep on going and repeating the corresponding process again in this if like you complete it you will go to the next state in this you complete it you will stop that's the approval done which means it is simply forwarding the request which is your chain of responsibilities forwarding the request your state design pattern says altering the corresponding object behavior based on its state that's a subtle difference between the two again the code also i will show you the state code you can check out in the previous section which is the state one but yeah that's a very small difference again that's not much of a big deal if you even mix match a bit but yeah that's a high level difference which i told you now let's see approvers so you saw the first approver which was supervisor now the next is automatically already you know implemented i just have to implement process leave request so what i will do i will say okay process leave request approver says that if the leave number are less than equal to 3 then i can process it now again i mentioned that i have just written a simple line a simple print statement but it can be literally a lot of lines here that is the reason it is good to put that logic for the supervisor in its own class and then again either he will approve this obviously if not then i will simply say okay if the leave number are you know less uh, more than 3 then it will go to the next person now obviously we saw that the next approver is already set for the supervisor again who will do that set in the state we saw there is a handler which does that there is a context which does that here again we can we can think in that form as well you know making the corresponding next approver set via that although we can do, do, we can repeat that process on the main code as well so we will set the supervisor's next approver inside the main function i will show you that part also and th when i show you i will come back here as well but imagining you have next approver i will call next approver's process leave request so imagining again i'm i'm again referring imagining you have your next approver as manager so what will happen you will go to manager's process leave request so i'll come here my manager's process leave request i will come up. again the leave lays if less than equal to 7 then i can have some task for my manager and then he will approve it if it is not then i will go to next approver again imagine that next approver of manager is set to the director then i will say that director's process leave request with the leave days i will go to the director and then i will say that if the leave request is less than equal to 14 then make sure that okay director will perform some e task operation and then will approve it if not then check if the next approver is not null then obviously maybe again right now for us there was a end at the director right but again if we want in future we can say after director they can be hr you know which can actually approve but right now in our case we did not have anyone so we will say okay if it is not null then you you will have some next approver so make make sure that you ask them if not then okay it is denied you know some default you can also keep a default person default approver which will deny by default so that also we can keep 
So that's how you can actually maintain a chain of responsibility. Now, just as I was referring, I'll show you the main code. So main code says, firstly, make the approvals. So I made my supervisor, manager, director. These are the approvals which I made. Again, all these approvals implemented supervisor, you know, uh, implemented your simple approver uh, class, abstract class, and that's what they have done. Next, I have set that, okay, supervisor's next approver will be manager, manager's next approver will be director. This is how I have set that in my main code. Again, if you want, you can do this set inside your individual approvers as well, right? But keeping it flexible and, you know, keeping it out also helps a lot. So this is a much better approach. Now, I will have a leave request and then I will go and simply call that supervisor, which means because see, for an employee, he only knows his supervisor. That's it. So he will say, okay, just ask the supervisor to process the request, which means he will send your, he will raise a ticket with his manager's name, or let's say with his supervisor's name. And with that, I will give a call to supervisor's process leave request with the leave days. So what will happen now, it will go to the supervisor and he will try to process the leave request. If he can do it, great. If not, then next approval. And also we know that supervisor's next approval. Supervisor's next approval is already set which to a manager. Then it will auto automatically jump to manager's process leave request and again repeat the same process. And that's how you can simply go about it. Now, obviously you saw that supervisor is there, manager is there, director is there. And again, all these are approvals which can process a corresponding leave request. And that's how beautiful it is. In again, in future, let's say if you have HR, HR, or maybe anyone else, you know, a default approver, or maybe, you know, something changes in the industry and we want a different approval process. Let's say from supervisor, it should go to manager one, M1, and then go to manager two, M2. Everything can be very easily pluggable and playable because obviously these will independently be there. It's just that inside my main code, I will say that M1's next should be M2. And then as soon as M1 is not able to approve it, automatically it will jump to M2 for approval. And again, I will set M2's next will be my character. Now, for as, as I mentioned that what if we have HR, I will simply have a HR which will have, you know, which will extend the approval. And then HR, as you simply know, I'll get back to you that HR will tell and uh, without even having any e task, That's what their job is. Cool. And that's how they will be done. Cool. Uh, so the code change will be very minimal that I will have an HR and then I will say that director's next will be HR. And then simply again, I don't need to worry about anyone else. I don't need to worry about, you know, who's the next of supervisor, you know, manager, uh, director, HR. No, I'll just simply call supervisor. Just go and ask him to process it. And then ultimately at one point in time, I, again, it will keep on going to some uh, chain and then at one point in time, I will get my request back. It, it can be either accepted or denied based on my number of leaves, which I'm asking. And that's how your chain of responsibility comes. Now, obviously your question will be that why you will use it, although you must have got the answer by now. But if you are still wondering uh, why to use it, then obviously you will have corresponding very loose coupling between your sender and the handler because simple sender will simply call one person. That's it. And then after that, who handles that request, sender has not need to worry about it. So in that case, my employee simply called my supervisor. And again, after that, he doesn't care that via which route this request goes through. He ultimately cares that, okay, what is my response? So it goes through a route of supervisor to manager, to director, to HR, and so on and so forth. It can literally go to any route whatsoever. And that is a very loose coupling and decoupling we can say in the entire request, which, which we have. Obviously, flexibility, scalability will all obviously be there. Again, my code is more organized and maintainable. Again, I can reuse all these handlers and stuff. Uh, dynamic request handling can be there. And again, you know, uh, any new approval rules, logic, I can just add a new handler and then, you know, just get, and I will not need to touch the existing piece of code. So again, where it is used, obviously where you have some chain of responsibility going on that one person cannot handle the request and you want it to go to the next person, you know, your, your, te your technical support that level one goes, then, you know, level two and then level three and then manager and so on and so forth. Same way you can, again, although logging is not a very good example for this, but still you can say that, okay, if you just try to implement one, you know, abstract logging kind of thing that based on the severity of logs, you end up printing what kind of logs it is. You can also have a chain of responsibility there. Again, uh, some GUI event handling, authentication system that you have, you know, simple password. And then again, 
your role verification and your who factor authentication all that stuff although the best example is you know where the actual chain happens where the actual process needs to be maintained it is more in approvals more in actual support that's the main cause for it cool uh, lastly it is simply saying that when to use it when something cannot handle it the request simply moves to the next person and that next one can actually handle it maybe again next one can be literally anyone in future in some time but he will handle it and that's it and that's when i have to return it again uh, it's if else, please run away from it. Don't write it. It gives, you know, clear, cleaner, modular way of writing corresponding same conditions of going through a request. And also it scales effortlessly because now we can decouple multiple stuff and we don't have to depend upon each other. Cool. I hope you guys liked it. If yes, please make sure that we hit the like target of 250 likes. See you next video and then goodbye. Take care. I say see you in the next video until then. Goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye.